Disassemble the front maintenance plate of the heat pump. You can see the electrical box of the heat pump. Generally, we only leave the interface of the single unit display screen. So we need to remove the wire cover and pull out the cascade interface. Connect the heat pump that needs to be cascade connection. Each heat pump will be equipped with one connecting line as standard with a length of 10 meter. After connecting the cable, only the host needs to be connected to the touch screen. Other slaves do not need to be connected to the screen. And then dial the address of the unit. Each unit needs to set the unit number. The host is set to 1. And the other units are set to 2, 3, 4. If two or more units have the same unit number, they cannot communicate normally. Please restart setup. The unit number setting using the 2 to 4 bits of the DIP switch SW1 on the main board. The location is as shown in the figure below. The unit number setting message is as follows. For example, 1 and 2 are set as shown below. Open the screen as shown in the following figure. Set the G12 number of unit parameter to the number of units connected online. If there are 4 units, set it to 4, and if there are 8 units, set it to 8. The maximum setting number is 8. After all the above operations are completed, you can start up and debug the unit. If all units are connected normally, the circle behind the unit will be green, as shown in the figure below. Click each unit number to view the operating parameters of each unit.